Yeah, good day viewers. You're welcome to my channel. This is Radical Science. If you are among the GCE students writing chemistry practical this year, all I want you to do is just to pay attention to this video because I'm going to show you everything you need to know as far as the GCE um, chemistry practical and their specimen is concerned. Okay? And remember, do not skip this video because whenever you skip my video you miss one step or the other and by the time you try to carry out your own practical you may have a failed result now i am making this video in response to some of the messages i've been getting from students who are writing this gce chemistry exam asking me sir please when is wayek going to release the specimen for gce so that they can be able to prepare for the exam. Please, I must tell you that GCE is not releasing any specimen as far as chemistry is concerned or as far as practicals are concerned, it's okay? Rather, everything you are going to see as far as this GCE is concerned are all incorporated inside the question paper. It is not like the other uh, exams, which is in April, May, uh, exams where Wayek will send the specimen to the school or to the subject teacher so that the materials can be provided before the day of the exam. No, it is not like that. In this particular um, exam, every practical have been carried out. So the way they do it is they carry out the practicals. The next thing they like the touches the volumetric analysis and also the quantitative analysis. The practical must have been carried out by them. So they'll give you their table of values and now ask you to make use of that table of values to solve other questions that is necessary in there. So it is now left for you to understand how to make use of the table of value very, very well and the right formula to use in order to arrive at your answer. So, so I want us now to take a look at this question sample. With this question sample, you will understand how easy it is to solve questions in GCE um, chemistry practicals. Because looking at it, if you don't have pre-knowledge about this, you may find it very difficult to solve. So now let's take a look at this question. Let's take a look at this question. Here we see that 25 cm cube of 0 0.10 mole per dm cube of solution of sodium trioxocarbonate 4 were titrated against hydrochloric acid. The titration result is presented in the table below. So here now, they will do the titration and um, place it on the table just as you are seeing on the screen okay so here now you don't need to start you know doing the titration by yourself the titration has already been done so it is now left for you to use your initiative to use the table which has been given to you to do the calculations that will be given to you so now let's take a look at the table here here now we have titration we have um um the final breath reading and we have the initial breath reading we have volume of the acid okay so here we have first titer second titer and then um, the third titer now if you go down before we continue if you go down you will see that volume of the acid the volume of the acid is not given it has not been calculated so you should take note of that so now let's begin here we have final breath reading which is in cm cube here we have under the first title we have 25.40 then we under the um, final under the initial breath reading we have 0 0.00 now under the second title we have 25.41 under the final initial breath reading we have 0, 0.0 now under the final in third title we have 38.32 then the initial breadth volume we have 12.09 12.09 so here now they say calculate the volume of the acid used in each of the titration so if you look at this question you see that it is very very easy so if you can be able to pay attention you will see that it is not something to bother so much so for you to calculate the 
um, the volume of the acid used. So if you look at this table of values now, if you look at this table of value, you see that the volume of the acid is not given. And for you to calculate the volume of the acid, all you need to do is to subtract the um, is to subtract the initial volume of the bullet from the final volume of the bullet. Then it will give you the volume of the um, acid. Okay, subtract the initial volume of the acid from final volume of the acid. Then it will give you the volume of the acid. So now let's take a look at it here. Now from this table, we have 25.04 minus 0, 0.0. Now it will give us 25.40. Now again, on the second title, when you subtract 25.41 subtracted um, 0, 0.00, it will give you 25.41. Now on the top title, which is 30, 38, um, 38.2 minus 12.09, it will give you 25.42. So that becomes the volume of each of the titration. Now here, now the second question here says calculate the average tighter volume. Now for you to calculate the average tighter volume, all you need to do is you add up all the volume of the acid now divided by 3. So here now let's add them up. We have 25.40 plus 25.1, 25.41 25 25.42 divided by 3. Now when you divide it by 3, it will give you 25.41. So that becomes your average volume tighter. So you can see that it is very, very easy for you to do. So all you need to do is just to pay attention. And if you need any more clarification on this particular um, um, questions and more of the questions that you are likely to see, all you need to do is to drop your question in the comment section below. If you need any special assistance, I will advise you to join my Telegram channel and also my WhatsApp group channel where you get all the materials, all the resources that you need in order to excel in this exam. Because our aim is to ensure that you pass this exam perfectly. 